Okay guys, here is my 1985 Fiero GT. Uh, this car has been in my family since it was brand new. My mom and dad bought this car brand new in 1985. I was 15 years old at the time, not even really old enough to drive it yet. And it's been around ever since. I haven't done much to this car outside of uh, adding these wheels here. Those are off an 87 Fiero GT. I bought them off some guy online. Apparently he bought a Fiero for his daughter and she didn't want it, but he gave me a deal on those wheels. I think I only paid $150 for the wheels and tires, so that was kind of nice. But uh, this car has been around a long time. I actually uh, drove this around when I was 16 years old, and believe it or not, I drove this car to my prom. So it's got a lot of uh, sentimental value, even though the maybe the whole value of the car is not there, but it's still pretty cool. Um, I don't drive it a whole lot. It just sits in the garage most of the time. Uh, it has 176,000 miles on it, which you probably can't see in the sunlight. Um, but this car fires up every single time I start it. There's not much done to it in terms of uh, changing anything. Obviously, that's an aftermarket stereo. Uh, the stereo that was in there just completely died. My sister had this car for a while as well. I got it when I was about 24. I gave it to her when I was about 30. And then she gave it back to me about 10 years later. So it's just tossed hands. And she's uh, she recovered the seats in leather, which is really nice. And this little leather bolstering right here. The steering wheel desperately needs to be recovered. Um, but other than that, everything works down to the speakers and the headrests. They still work. Every, nothing's broken in here, um, which is pretty nice. The car spent most of its life in the garage. You can see there's no cracks in the dash, which is pretty awesome. And... As you, see, as you can see, it just it fires right up. Um, the other day, it did kind of get a little hot on me and cut out. But other than that, um, it's been driving kind of tip-top. Like I said, I don't really drive it much. The most I do is take it out, maybe drive it around the block a few times and put it away. Uh, don't really know what my plans are for this car. I don't have the heart to get rid of it. Uh, I am thinking about picking up a Corvette, so... I don't know what that's going to lead for this car, but I've got room to store it. I got a three car garage, so I just leave it in there. But anyway, that's it. I'll take one more look at it on the outside. As you can see, the interior does look pretty good, though. You know, everything's original down to the carpet and all that. It is showing a little bit of age, uh, but it's uh, held up pretty good. I think the uh, my brother in law redid the seals in here on the sunroof so it doesn't leak. They redid the headliner for me. At one point when my sister had it, believe it or not, the antenna is still there. It's the same one. And not too bad overall. Hopefully one day I can actually get some real use out of this. But for right now, it's just uh, sleeps in the garage <laughs> most of the time. All right. See you guys later.